Hi everybody, welcome to Academy Live and today we're joined by the amazing model Mila. Uh, she's a Cardiff model that travels all over the planet and uh, we've been shooting today um, to, to create some really great films for you on the Academy. So watch out. So um, in this session live we're looking at uh, kind of the difference in lighting in a simple set. Um, even though I've technically got three lights in the scene here, all right, most of the time we're going to be just you using the one for now, all right? So um, I've got a snooted light, which we're going to come to last, in fact, all right? So I can move that out of the way for now. And that's just going to give me a very dramatic look onto a white, a white wall. Um, I've got a beauty dish uh, here, which is quite high. I'm just using the, the polystyrene flats as my background to make it nice and quick and kind of get some great images. And then I've got a gridded box above that's pretty soft uh, as far as its look and feel is concerned, but it's really being used as a dramatic light source. So really what we're looking at is moving the light from the kind of the, uh, the, kind of the average position. We're trying to create more drama. You can instantly create drama with your photography, of course, if you're kind of going to just change the accessory on the front of the flash, whether it's a speed light flash or a studio flash like we're uh, using today. Everything doesn't have to be done with a softbox. And if you do have a softbox, try about uh, removing one of the diffusion layers. Try adding on the egg crates if they come with it to actually keep a more directional light. Try and kind of look at all the accessories that you get. So we're using Elenchrom ELC, you know, uh, within studio anyway. And the great thing about the Elenchrom lights, they have an umbrella shaft hole, which means that we can basically use that umbrella shaft for a variety of things. And uh, more commonly, you see it in the kind of the, be uh, the beauty dish, where it's basically got a, a reflector clap, uh, a deflector cap even, sorry, uh, to actually kind of uh, make sure the flash bounces into the cap, into the dispersion of the silver, and then basically just goes from there. There's different styles and sizes of um, the beauty dishes anyway. It really depends what you've got on hand. We we've literally spent no money to actually do this today. So it's basically, as far as um, no special backgrounds, just our polystyrene boards that you can buy at pretty much any big DIY or get them delivered to you. They're around about two inches thick or an inch and a half thick to make sure they're solid. They're on 9.99 bike stands uh, that you can pretty much get on Amazon. So kind of in a small studio facility, you can actually get quite creative quite fast. We're gonna be shooting black and white on camera, but remember I shoot a JPEG and a RAW file, which means that my RAW file will always exist, exist in colour. So if Mila says, hey Clegg, you know, you promised me some colour images, it's like, no problem. <laughs> I just gotta go to the RAW, the RAW file and process it back into the colour. But as a rule of thumb, even though you're gonna be seeing the JPEG file, uh, which is gonna be set in black and white today, I would still be processing from the RAW file into a black and white. And you can check out on the Academy my kind of settings for the kind of the camera raw and perhaps we'll use some of these images to actually kind of do that workflow for you at some stage. Tech, uh, technical wise today I'm going to keep it as simple as I can all right. I'm going to use a 50 mil lens we're going to be at f4 we're going to keep to the designated aperture so these two little girls and boys as it were are not going to be used at all all right. I'm using a Siconic meter that is linked in with my uh, Elinchrom lights and the reason I use that is because I just don't want to take a photograph look on the back of the camera to see if it's correctly exposed. Uh, I want technology which is calibrated to tell me yes, ignore what is on the back of your camera or on your, lap, uh, your laptop screen, basically this is what it's going to be doing for me. Okay, so uh, as far as this, this is the thing that's going to trigger. Um, then we start to look at the technology of the camera. We talked about the 50mm uh, lens. You know by now that this is the Elinchrom Sky port. This is the trigger that when fired, I tell it which lights to send to fire, as it were. So remember, flash is an explosion of gas, the, uh, the exion gas. Depends on how much and how long we want the actual gas to explode for. Then as far as tethering, um, you know that pretty much I always believe that I'm only as good as my last shot. And if my last shot wasn't very good, I'm not very good. That's basically it. But I always like to shoot live so you can see basically composition, um, where I'm placing the subject in the frame. You can also see the drama of the light instead of the beige light, as I say. Uh, and basically, we're kind of uh, uh, going to tether. This is tether tools. You know by now, I hope. But this little kind of orange cable is fastened into the side of the camera port. 
but in fact it's the jerk stopper that stops any kind of damage being done to the port and stops me from pulling it out by mistake. And that's pretty much it. Well, we are tether tethering into Capture One. So with that in mind, let me just do a quick shot. Let's switch camera on. Let's switch all lights to all. And we'll just take a quick shot um, just to check that uh, everything fires. Uh, pretty much does, which is good. Okay, so in that way, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, I've metered F4, okay, so from all of the, diff uh, the different lights, so Mila is about this tall, I've metered there, and I've metered for this one to here as well, and we should be able to create some kind of instantly kind of fun images. We are going to shoot a little bit of colour, but that's the second part where she's going to put on one of uh, the pink jackets and the fur and everything else. We can talk about the tech, uh, the texture, kind of bring that life. But for now, let's just start with the one, uh, the one light and look at what we can do. Princess Mila, come on in, please. Okay, so um, Donnie, just come on through, just into the little cave of black. Um, so the first thing I want to do is obviously choose the group. So I'm going to choose the beauty dish first, so uh, I just need to kind of check that fires, which it does. I'd always encourage you, um, if you're a digital photographer, to take the test shot and look at it, okay? Just in case you've set the wrong group to fire, you've set the wrong aperture, the wrong ISO, whatever, wherever it be, but check the shot first, okay? So let's do that fully. So um, Tell you what, Amelia, if you look at me for one minute, I want to show them how bad it is. Is that okay? I don't mean you, darling. I'm in the, the photographer. So, look, um, here, because I've got her to look directly at me, if we're looking at the screen, uh, you can see that basically we've got panda eyes, we've got sockets there and everything else, yeah? So that's something that we want to kind of avoid. And the only thing we need to do to avoid it is basically get Mila to just raise the chin up. All right. I can also raise my camera position up, but um, if it was kind of for the likes of Vanity Fair, Marie Claire, Vogue magazine or whatever, uh, Mila is not only a model, but she's an influencer as well, so I need to make sure she looks cool, otherwise I don't get paid. Uh, but uh, as far as the look of the field is concerned, we've got to just make it work. So as far as the next shot, if she looks up, which she's just done for me, without any kind of cohesion there, uh, we can see now the, dif uh, the difference is pretty great on the light. Now, the focus point on the camera, I know you can't see it, but in this case was in the wrong place, all right? I always want it um, on, on the face. Because I'm using the likes of F4, I need to make sure that what's sharp is sharp, okay? So if I want the hand to be sharp or whatever it would be, I'm going to focus on the hand. But as it is, I'm usually employed to make sure the face is sharp. So, it uh, depends on which way I'm shooting. I usually shoot with a tether on top. So basically, uh, let's have a little look. So my s focus is bang on the face now, and that should be perfect. Great, okay, Mila, I'm gonna show it, and we're gonna shoot, yeah? Okay, that's cool. There, just the eyes at me, but keep the chin there. Ra raise the chin up a little bit higher, darling. Exaggerate it. Let's put the hands out, out towards the side. Twist the body around towards here. Raise the chin up more for me. That's gorgeous there again, let's do it. Keep it, eyes at me again. Keep it, and again, eyes up high. Great, let's kind of almost cuddle yourself, lose one hand in there, oh, like that. Again, do it, straight at me now, Mila. Raise your chin a touch more, excellent. Let's lose one hand in between the neck and the hair. Raise the chin, looking up towards here again. Again, don't look at me, look up. It's lovely, darling, keep it. Okay, let's use the hands quite high onto the side. Remember, <laughs> they're only stuck together with gaffer tape, so don't lean on them, otherwise you'll be on the floor. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's put yourself into a real core at uh, the corner, so kind of almost lean her back onto one of the flats. And just kind of lose the hands just down for a minute, shall we? That's great, let's do it. It just uh, needs to be pulled down at the front a little bit more. There you go, let's do that. Keep it. Raise the chin again, darling. And again, turn the head round to me now. Okay. If you keep looking towards that direction, I'll just shoot along the line. Towards me with the head, please. Turn the head to me. Turn the nose to me as well, darling. More, more, more. Keep it. Step away and just kind of lean back through the, um, the hands just into here. It's good just there. Keep it. And relax. Nice, like that. So that's our kind of one style of lighting, uh, which is just with the, be the beauty dish. Let's just show, uh, show you exactly what it's doing, yeah? If you can see the shape on the background. Mina, if you step right up to me a minute. Okay, so she's out of the light now. 
So if we take that same shot, basically she's not lit. Okay, you can see it, it's pretty much silhouetted. However, if we've got a little snooted light ready and it's metered and positioned in the right way, and now I shoot the shot again, I'd quite like to hang this down if you don't mind for a minute. Is that all right? Straight at me with the eyes, darling. Keep it. Uh, and now you can see if I put all on, that would help. Do it. Great. Now we've got that light actually coming onto the face. So now all of a sudden, by the introduction of another light, we're getting a kind of a look that we want. I'm just going to shoot this pretty much flat on, a bit like it's a ring flash, but obviously it's not, it's a snoot. And let's just do some images. So let's, first of all, this is in group two. Let's do some shots by itself. Focusing on the face again. Let's have a quick test. I'm just looking on the television screen because it's going off really like, like that. Again for me. Keep it. Keep looking where I was. Keep it. Let's switch all on now. Same thing. Keep it. Now following me, please, Mila. Turn the head to me as well if you can. Excellent. So again, that little bit of a turn, a bit too fast for the focus point there. Let's do it again. Keep it. Straight at me with the head, please, honey. And again, keep it. Nice. So um, the snoot now is obviously the, becoming the key light. If you look, though, this is a three-light shot here on the screen. You can see, in fact, that the snoot is lighting Mila's face, the beauty dish is lighting the background, and, in fact, the gridded light is lighting the actual hair. So we've got a great three-dimension image. I'll just show you that. Let's shoot each one of those lights in turn. So let's go group um, one first, which is the gridded light above. Keep it. Read focus point mark. Okay, so that's my group one. That's just the gritty light, so you can see what it's doing with the hair, yeah? Group two is basically my snoot. And the only reason we're seeing a little bit of detail on Mila when the other lights are on is because this modeling bulb is on full. We'll switch that off in a minute and we'll see it. So there you can see what the snoot is doing. Remember, this is what the beauty dish was doing. Uh, just lighting a bit of the background up, of course. And then we compare, we add all those together and it's doing the shot. So, remember, the only reason that we had some detail on Mila when this snoot wasn't firing was because the modeling bulb is on full power. If I turn all that down or even off and I do the same shot, so remember we did the uh, group four, which is the, uh, the, be uh, the beauty dish image. Let's do it again. Keep it. That is just the background. Now you can see there's almost no light on Mila at all. She's pretty much a kind of a silhouette. Um, the only kind of, I suppose, negative in working with the groups uh, in the way that I'm doing is that um, because they're on different groups, it means that I can't switch off just one of them. I've got to either shoot all or I've got to shoot one at a time. So if you know that two lights are classed as one, as it were, so if I always wanted this honeycomb light to fire at the same time, then I would set it probably on the same kind of group as the main light, light source. So uh, in that, let's, uh, let's just uh, move across, uh, let's go back to me, let's go back and let's use that gridded light. So we're going to be using this light here now, yeah? Um, and let's, so this is uh, group one. Let's lay our back against there, I think, and just raise it up as cool. Let me just change the focus point a minute. And that is just the grid light, so let's just check the exposure's good. Okay, so, uh, just missing her a little bit, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Let's do it again. Straight at me, Mila. Step forward just a touch more for me. Okay, so it's not hitting her at all yet, is it? And that's because of that honeycomb grid, without a doubt. Let me just check it is firing. And I'm going to meet, uh, meet her as well. Obviously, I'm a meter man just because we want a guaranteed exposure. So where she is, the grid, I think, is missing a fully. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to turn this light. So at least that is going to get more chance to actually spill onto her. But I think all the lighting for it is going to be here, in fact. We'll, meet, uh, we'll meter it, excuse me. Uh, let me just... Uh, da, da, da. 
group one is 2.88 and a half. So one, two, three, four, five. That should give us some light now. So that should be our four. Raising up the chin again, darling. Let's do it. Let's just double check it though. That's what our Polaroid is, our digital best is there. Okay, let's do it again. Straight at me again, please. Uh, let's lean just the shoulder, fake it. That's it, Ray, raising the chin up more. Keep it, it's lovely. And again, just look past just where I was. Stay, stay there for me. Again, keep it. Look to me now, please, Mila. Turn, turn, turn the head more, 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 more. Keep it. Great, let's step up to me again. I think I really like that pose, isn't it? Keep, 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 keep. I'm just gonna literally push this into a softer light position. So instead of from the, o, uh, the o overhead, it's now in a pretty much a soft position. I'm still going to get, though, a kick of light from this snoop going onto Mila's face at the same time. I switched the modeling bulb off. That's what I can't see. So let's do it. Uh, go to all. So that's the shot with just the one light again. Let's do all again. Keep it. And this is all three lights together now. So that is the kind of the beauty dish as well. Let's just show you what it's like without out the snoot. So the same thing. Let's turn the body back so you're almost going to look over your shoulder, your shoulder for me. That's it. Lovely. Okay, let's do it. Keep it. Twist to me a little bit. Again. Lower the chin more, darling. Keep it. Nice. Let's, um, can you go to a bit of a, kind of an almost squat? Is it possible? Yeah, love it. Let me, just relax a minute while I move the light. <laughs> You're a bit quicker than I can squat at my stage of life now. <laughs> We've been discussing that all day. I know I'm an old dinosaur. It's okay. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna use the two lights, yeah? Um, I probably let's gonna shoot from high and above. Let's just look first. Yes, pretty good. Like it. Let's do it. Keep it straight at me, darling. Again. Look away from me. Keep it. It's gorgeous. Straight at me with the eyes again. Excellent. Let me just lower that beauty dish again. So I kind of quite like the little bit of shadow as long as she doesn't look at me much. If I just lower this down now and we just twist, twist this in. A little bit more kind of uh, flatter light onto her. Kind of almost the classic position for a directional beauty dish. Uh, most people kind of um, point, point it down. Let me just uh, switch on and off again. Okay, let's have a quick look. So this is just the, be uh, the beauty dish a minute. So this is group four. Keep it. Let's just check on the TV. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's do it. Again, let's do it. Keep it. Turn around to me just a little bit more. Push the hands between the knees. Push it down fully. Can you come around to me more? Look, that's it. Really push down, kind of push down. Hide the pants for me. Push it down with the... Oh, there you go. Yes, great. Let's do it. Keep it. Again, lower the chin more, darling. Keep it again. Really lower the chin down. Great. Let's just kind of sit and just um, lean your back against that uh, flat there if you can. If you turn the legs around towards there, just to hide your pants. Okay, and just come and lean against this. Remember, don't lean too much. <laughs> Got to remind the clients that it's just polystyrene. like that so yeah we've got the bike stand kind of showing a little bit we'll retouch that out let's do the same shot come closer click yeah, let's do it just check you look great back to the screen love it let's do some more keep it straight at me again please darling again almost push forward with the butt more and kind of use the hands behind so you're going to lean on towards here more Great, straight at me again. 
again. Look away. Keep it. Great. Let's stand up again. Should we just watch your head on that beauty dish? Let's um, almost kind of try and pull the uh, neck upwards. Let me just uh, raise this up in height a minute. So we almost want to kind of hide in it, yeah? And I think we're going to bring you just up to me a touch. Whoa, that's it. And again, quick test. Uh, so remember that is just group four. That's the only light that's going. I'm going to pop in a bit of kick just onto the face. Should brighten that up just a little bit. And because I have one, I'm going to put a little bit of grid. So what we're doing here, Rebecca, is we're looking at the difference in lighting techniques and how we can either work with just one light or building up the different qualities of light that is not necessarily a soft softbox. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with a softbox, except there's times where we want to get a little bit more pudgy with it, a little bit more dramatic in the light and things really. So this should really bring her eyes out now. Let me just do a quick test. Switch it onto all again. Do it. One second, let me just check the exposure first. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, let's do it. So, almost hide your mouth and nose a little bit. Keep it, love it. Keep it. Let's just go to group um, two. See if I've got enough exposure there a minute. Like that. Is that that one or the overhead? That's this one. So, Ooh. Don't touch it, it's hot. That's the little grid. That's why we've lost all that exposure a minute. I'm going to meter it though, okay? Um, so this is a little uh, honeycomb that turns the snoot into a real, you can't really see it because you've got to see light coming through it, yeah? Um, but basically it won't allow light uh, to kind of um, feather in any way. It only allows light to travel in a straight direction. And I think I broke mine. Oops. Looks like I'm going to go shopping. Stay on there. It does get hot because I move. I use that modelling bulb, remember. So this is going to be right kicking in the eyes now. Uh, let's, meet, let's meter it. And why we're kind of metering all the time is to make sure we have a controlled work, working scenario. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. That should give us F4. Sorry, we're getting warm under there. To no apologize. <laughs> let's do another stop. Seven, seven. That should be it. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? So remember, this is the group two. It's using a lot more flash because it's going through the honeycomb itself. So a little look. Yeah, I like it. Look how it's lighting that hand and not her face, in fact. Do it again. It is hot, it is hot, eyes, eyes to me, relax. So that's without the honeycomb. Can you see what, how much light that has increased? Let's just dial this back down, we'll bring all the lights back in again. Uh, two, two, one, seven, right, if you step up to me again. Oh, I love that pose, keep it. You are too good at this. Love that, okay, so in fact I lied, come up to me a little bit more. There you go, I'm looking for that light just to light the background there. Let's light our background again, rather than Mila. That other one is going to light her, of course. Let's do the same shot. Quick test. When we do them all, just check the main exposure. That's pretty good. So there we go. Keep it. Mila at me. Again, lower the chin, darling. Let's um, cover up again for me. Just a touch. More, more, more. Let's do the head upright. Square upright and the uh, horizontal with the... Yeah, it's cool, it's there. Let's do it again. Love it. Let's um, just, before you put on the pink um, coat, yeah. let's step across and let me just shoot on that white wall. Let's get you, um, no, you're going to run off to get the coat. Let's just stay stood. Come up to me a little bit more. Let's do that 
solid light again. I love the shadows behind. Some of you won't. Remember, I'm working with group two, so this means that none of the other lights are going to fire. Remember, basically, a shadow is just an unlit something. Uh, let's do it. Whoop. Again, let's kind of um, almost turn towards this direct, a direction. Yeah, and kind of almost lean in, but try and hit this with your face. That's what I'm going to do, all right? So no matter what, again, you can move as much as you want. It's much easier for an assistant's doing it. Again, straight at me again. Keep it. Turn away from me. Turn away more and more. Straight at me again now. One second, I lost you. Let me just loosen that to the touch. There we go. Again, turn into me. Stay there. Stay there for me a minute. Like it. One more. Stay there. It's gorgeous. Let's just kind of really put the hands in the back. Kind of lean back into here. Love it. There you go. Pink jacket time. Go, go, go. Love that. Yeah, uh, probably a little bit bleached out, in fact. Um, should have kind of toned that down just a little bit. That's, that's just the only unfortunate part that we've got in there. Let's, um, yeah, go, question. Metering, yeah, sure. So we've, we were basically back to F4 and all. So you, uh, usually, whatever is a separation light is used uh, slightly less than the key light. So it's usually a stop less, at least. Um, unless you're going for a little bit of a kind of a Hollywood hair where it kind of has a little bit more kind of kick. So a rule of thumb is the key light, obviously, as you're working expo exposure. In this case, it was F4. I, I upped it to F5, should have gone to 5.6 when we're using this one, in fact, or reduced, reduced it down. And you can see from the screen, in fact, the problem that I've got is I've burnt that out. There's, there's probably about a third or two-thirds of a stop as a kind of a real minimum in recovery on a raw file. Um, if you ever overexpose an image, it's creative <laughs> and it's in black and white because you can get away with it. If it's a colour image, basically the bleaching out, you can kind of try and recover things in RAW, but you're not going to have a lot of success. But what I want to do is meter from the actual uh, subject's face or as near as I can get to it. Obviously, in the present circumstances, we've got to get close but not on, on top of them, or I'll ask a client to move off set and then I'll take it. But as a rule of thumb, we're running pretty much F4. So the only thing that was running in that last shot is basically one light, and it's lighting up the background. It's allowing a little bit of spill. If we, uh, you know, let's um, change this, shall we, for a minute, just to have a little bit of a, dif a difference. By the way, this is red hot, this snoop, yeah? And um, please, please, please do not do what I just did. Um, because it is hot. That's why I said to the model, as soon as that dropped on the floor, please don't touch it. It's only red hot because I run a very um, full mod modeling bowl, yeah? So it's at, at its brightness. Um, Princess in pink, are you there yet? That's okay, there's no rush. So let's go kind of against the um, black wall, uh, white, white wall. We'll go one light, yeah? Again, um, We'll kind of just control this lighting down just a touch more. A little bit more of a slit of the light. Now we've got a meter. So if um, Mila is going to be on that wall, yeah, or whatever distance away she's going to be, if you've got um, a meter that doesn't talk to your flash, there's no problem in that. You can use your trigger to fire the flash and then obviously set the this uh, 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 meter, whatever you have, to actually fire the flash. So that's basically all, all you do. So what, so what do I mean by that? If yours didn't talk to the flashes like mine does, I would just take my trigger off camera, or have a spare, and then basically all I've got to do is set it onto the correct group, and now tell that one to fire, and then it's basically done. Does that answer the question, Brandon? Brilliant. So, what should we do? Uh, we've got that light there, I really like it. Um, I'm also going to just turn this light in as well, around towards us. Uh, we won't switch it on yet, but we will have an option for it. 
when we want. Okay, so I'm just going to switch off the beauty dish for now. Just so you don't get confused, I'm just going to switch it off. So we're into two lights. Princess in pink, love it, good look. Let's just come against the wall if we can, please. Just um, lean in onto one shoulder or the other, it doesn't matter which. So let me just set the camera onto colour. And then we'll, uh, right in that spot, see it there? Brilliant. Let me just do a quick test. Um, you know, we used to wait a minute and a half for pol a Polaroid year years ago. So don't kind of uh, rush it. I'm just going to take that little bit of a slip more. Making sure it's going to be lighting the eyes more than anything else. There you go. Oh, I like that. Okay, so by fixing that light now, of course, now I can move around it. So, um, for instance, Mila, if you uh, follow me, please. So just love it. And you can work the wall. So lean on the wall. Just stay in that kind of zone, yeah? No, that's the real wall. <laughs> I paid for that one. That's b &Q. Okay, quick test again. Let me just make sure I'm there. It's great. A little bit. Um, one, one, two. Quick test again. Remember, I just made that slit of light just a little bit more to vignette the bottom. So I'm going to open it up more. Keep it again. Oh, I like that. Okay, see how much more exposure that just did. I need to meter it. I'm sorry to be slow. But what's the point of guessing, taking six or seven shots? So from here towards the light, that's F8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I can shoot it straight away. Back to five, six. Oh, look at you, little Miss Poser. Love it. Hang on a minute. Let's just check it. Great, let's do it. Go. Right. Work, work the wall a little bit for me. Just roll around a touch, but try and keep the head in the same space. Excellent. Look away from me as well if you want. Great shot. Straight at me now, please, Mila. Ev every shot and at me. Keep it. Look away from me now, please. Excellent. Stay there again. Great. Nice shot. Let's just move that light, yeah? Let's move this to the three o'clock. Still in the same point, but now we're going to increase huge contrast now of course yeah let's uh so where possible try and get some light there yeah because you can see if you're looking in the wrong way look how dramatic that is straight away with it yeah let's go with it so don't look at me if possible love it turn the head this way more darling towards me it's great keep it it's lovely relax one more edgy really lean back Great, keep it. Look towards the light for me. Gorgeous shot. Let's um, just take a little bit of tethering time to catch up there. That's more to do with the capture one and the buffer kind of coming through. Let's add this one into the mix as well, yeah? So this is kind of come for a buzz. This is going to add a little bit of separation, a little bit of the light. Let's just see what it's going to do first. Remember that light is grouped one. Let's, so remember we're set at 5.6 for that one to go off. Let's see what it's doing. So it's there. Is it enough? I don't think it is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, remember this isn't re uh, really um, filling in as far as the shadow side. It's just adding a little bit of accent. I'm just going to untape the uh, reflector boards. Basically, I'm just going to turn it to the side. Brandon is really pleased now. I put the reflector boards on that side. Okay, let's do it again. So, quick test. So, remember that has gone up a stop. We've added the reflector panel in, so that's going to help as well. Now, let's go all. So, both of the lights together. Quick test again. Love it. Let's shoot it. Okay, again. Turn the body around a little bit more. Jacket on, jacket off. Funky. Cover yourself up, be a matador with it, hide it, you face me. I kind of almost pull it over with your head. Almost pull it, kind of almost kind of uh, hide, hide yourself. Gorgeous, lovely. Move, it's gorgeous there, it's lovely. Back against the wall for me. Excellent. 
Straighten me again, darling. Once more, lean the head in towards the wall. Both hands back to the wall if you can. You look like you're dressed in a Yeti. I love it. <laughs> it's a big bear. Cuddle yourself again with it. All right, last cu couple, love it. Let's turn the head towards here, shall we? Great, and again, eyes at me now. It's lovely. Hands down lower, just actually below the boobs. Keep it. And just pull the one part of the jacket across, just really across. So yeah, really cuddle yourself. Looking down towards here, a little bit more empathy. Straight at me now. Keep it, and let's just go group um, two, four, it was one that, no, group two. That's that one, let's just finish off with a very hard edge light. Uh, no looking at me again, please, darling. Turn, turn the body to the side. Great. No looking at me. Look high. Look as if you're playing with the watch or something on your hand. Lower it down away from the face. Let's turn the body back around towards this direction and just turn your head around here. I still like a kind of fiddling with the hands or whatever it would be, but your head's got to look towards the light for me more. Again, turn the head around more. I'll just soften the edge. Let's do it. Okay, I'm back to you. Pop, pop the hands behind the back again. Great, almost kind of do a, a, a vam vampire look. Bring the hand across, just use your arm, it's enough. Yeah, here you go. Keep it, turn, turn the head as well. Keep it, and we're done! Nice shots! Thank you, Mila! Woo! Excellent images. You know what, I just love what we can do with light. Just love it. Great, Mila, seriously love, brilliant. Love photographing you today. It's been great fun. We're done. Thank you very much, we're off live. So, uh, Again, any questions to uh, finish off with, Brad? Brad I don't believe there are any other questions. Great. So, thanks for joining us at Acad Academy Live. Remember, you'll be able to catch up with some more shots and shoots that we've done with Mila during the course of the day. They'll be coming live on the Academy very, very soon. Thanks for joining me. Remember, we're live at 5 on a Wednesday. We'll see you next week. Take care.